Wait, brave travelers. I am Alexandra. Many years past, I lived in your world. It was my hands that sculpted this statue. Let me tell you a tale. A forgotten moment lost in the great ocean of history. The story of the bloodline of the sages. I was born into the Crambartle family, a family descended from one of the legendary Seven Sages. But my generation saw the legacy of the Sages pass to the Albert family when I married. You see, I was the chosen heir. The blood of the Sages has remained in the Albert family ever since. But that lineage was severed by a dark and evil power when the life of the latest chosen heir, Alistair, was ended. Nevertheless, I am an ancestor of the Albert family. So, I will do everything I can to help preserve the Albert family line. I want you to take the Cran Spinels from the statue. I have no doubt they will be of use to you. Now Jessica is the only one who can continue the Albert family line. I beseech you to go to her aid. You disgust me! I didn't know you from Adam, but still I took you in. And this is how you repay me. 
I... I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I... I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold. Just who do you think you are? Oh, oh, oh. Has this imbecile upset you too, Sir Leopold? Of course he has. Such impertinence! No doubt the vile nearabouts put poison in your food as well. Please, Master! You must believe me! I would never serve Leopold... Sir Leopold poison! Why should I believe you? If you want to prove your innocence, you'll have to eat some yourself. Now, while I watch. Not like that. On your hands and knees. And look like you're enjoying it. Sets your day. Well, said Leopold, he seems safe enough. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, oh, oh. Dave, Sir Leopold is as much your master as I. I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? Ah, go back. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for my servant's unsightly display. So, what are you doing here? If you come to report back, I'll uh, be waiting in my room. I hope that little scene before didn't upset you. Is nothing unusual. I don't know why, but just looking at David's face makes my blood boil. Of course, I'd never dream of firing him. I had far too much fun being his master. <laughs> but enough. Have you got the jewels? Have you brought me the Grand Spinels? Ha-ha! <laughs> you have! I won't have you bore me with details. I only care about results. Yes. 
just holding them in my hands, I can feel the waves of magical energy flowing out of them. Yes, the Grand Spinels. Making an impenetrable barrier will be simplicity itself with these. That wand-waving bimbo won't stand a chance. And I expect you're feeling rather pleased with yourself. Helping the great Dominico is an honor, is it not? So, let me reward you. You may serve me as a god until that meddling girl comes back. I presume you accept this honor. Very good. From this moment on, you will be my bodyguards. And now, for the first task in your new post. Come this way. This leads to my secret library. You will find a book for me in there. The book is called the Big Book of Barriers. It contains a recipe for making a very powerful barrier. What on earth took you so long? That 
pesky wand-waving bimbo is turned up again. I must erect the barrier immediately. Did you find the big book of barriers? Don't disappoint me now. Yes. Yes, this is it. The final barrier. I must begin at once. You, go outside and stall that meddlesome floozy. What are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. Can't you tell a great magician when you see one? Just before you go. Fiery foo and babbling goo. Behold. That you're in top form. Go and stall that wand waving menace. Every second counts. Go! You've ignored my advice to prepare a stronger defense. Shut up! You won't get past me! I won't let you lay a finger on Master Dominico! Dominico? <laughs> What's so funny? Such a pity. That you should die never knowing about your noble origins. I could tell from the start that absurd show-off was not the one. The Scepter is all-knowing. No, I seek the chosen heir of the great sage Koopas. One of the seven who sealed away the Lord of Darkness, Rathorn! And that, David, is you. What a pity that the one who should be protecting you is unaware of his responsibility. <laughs> I wondered when you turn up. Five. I knew I'd have to fight you somewhere along the way. Still, I have to admit I'll be a little sad to watch you die.
It's not possible! No, no human could match the power of the Scepter! You won't get away with this! Now, you'll see the true power of the Scepter! Already it has ended the bloodlines of four of the Sages! Get out of the way! Move! Move! <laughs> Just in the nick of time, the barrier is ready. You villainous fiend! Take my life, would you? You'll have to break through my barrier first! Alakazam! Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. I must reward you. You may have the honor of finishing her off. Do you accept? What? Why on earth not? Explain yourself. Oh, well. So, this girl is a friend of yours. And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeated the Dual Magus. Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. The girl is yours to do with as you please. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect my life. There won't be any, um, <clears throat> financial reward, of course. <laughs> Wait. Where's Sir Leopold? He's gone. He must have been scared off by all the disturbance. David. Go and find Sir Leopold at once! Y yes, Master! I heard this story from my great-grandmother. She told me how her own great-grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the western continent to be married. A sage? What do you mean? I didn't really understand at first either. But apparently, even though she was a woman, she was a master of sword fighting and magic. Really? So... 
Maybe that's why you're so good at them too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work. And any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks. But it really isn't. In fact, if you ask me... I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you, but one day they will be. And I can't wait to see you when that day comes. Coming too. King Trode. Gov. What... What happened? I feel like I've just woken up from a really long dream. Ah, it looks like you're back with us at last. Don't you remember? You disappeared the day after we defeated Dool Magus. Yes, I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dool Magus was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. The Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn. But I found some things out. Listen, I've got so much to tell you. But there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. Yes. Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages, so his seal would be broken. Rapthorn once terrorized the world, and it was the Seven Sages who managed to seal away his soul. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely, but they shut his soul away in the Scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those Sages' heirs, Master Rylas, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat, too. Everyone who's been killed has been an heir of one of the Seven Sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. Do you mean to say... That the reason Medea and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? I don't know, but there are only three heirs left. David and two others. If the heirs of all seven sages are wiped out, Rapthorn's seal will be broken and he'll escape from the sept... That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? <gasps> you, you mean the royal treasure? Come to think of it, I don't know. I lost sight of it in all of the hullabaloo. No. David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on! We must find the scepter before it's too late.